charges have been brought down against the children who did this to Quattro the cat, allegedly throwing stones and bricks at the cat, eventually causing him to die. So the kids that did this allegedly were six, 10 and 12 and they've been charged with delinquency if they had been adults it would have been more serious charges of animal cruelty leading to death what this group of kids did is a stunning contrast to two other patterson hero kids who tried to save the cat who were 12 and 14. i spoke to kathleen schatzman of the humane society of the united states she works with the local new jersey chapter so this is a, a very large red flag everybody to should take notice of this uh, and we do hope that those students are going to get some intervention and uh, extraordinary amount of counseling and she said that studies from their organization has shown that violence and abuse against animals Animals has been shown to lead to criminal violence against people. And she also said that it's up to parents to teach kids in their homes that every single life has meaning and that all lives should be protected. You hear the message at home about compassion and kindness, and we also hope that that's going to be reiterated in the schools. And the Humane Society is actually providing flyers to the Patterson School nearby where the cat was found to make sure that they distribute it to kids in the classroom so they understand how to treat animals and be fair to them. From what I've read up on this, uh, there, was a, there was a study done in psychology today that separated the kids based on their age, saying, you know, when they're 12 and up, it could really lead to some very serious behavioral problems. But before that, especially this kid who's only six years old, does that speak to much more of the environment that this kid is growing up in or some potential psychological issues that he has? The kids have not been identified. We don't know their names, so we can't really give details about their or bringing their family. So are the but parents in trouble? As of now, no. No matter how many studies are done, we'll never really know the answer. And this is why these kids need some serious punishment. We need to make sure that time is taken to work with these kids. From, maybe it doesn't need to be, you know, locking them up, but something needs to be done to help them understand the ramifications of what they've done. Because if, you, if you're doing this when you're six, God only knows what you'll be doing when you're 20. Six to me is the key number there. I went over to the Justice for Quattro Facebook page, looked at some of the comments. One, you Euthanize the kids, send them to adult oh, prison, fry the <laughs> and get those <laughs> were the things that were listed on the page. Now, if you look at the fact that they're six, wow. yeah, they need something. They need help. I don't think and that punishment. I agree with you, Bill. I agree with you. We keep going back to the number six years old. I mean, just from personal experience, when I was six, if I had seen pictures of a cat looking as awful as Quattro did, I would have had nightmares. So the idea that a six year old could do that to an animal is really shocking. It's not just that it's a crime against an animal it's the fact that there are children involved doing this and it speaks to the fact that they aren't learning at home how to treat others and how to treat animals and it's unfortunate that once again schools have to come in and take in the role of the parents because it's not happening at home the bottom line is it does come down to the home and it does come down to the parent and at some point i think we've got to realize that we've got you know the next question is are we talking about broken homes are we you know what are we talking about what these kids how they grew up and what would lead to this because this just doesn't happen independently you said what kind of background do these kids come from i mean when i interviewed these two hero kids the 12 and the 14 year old who saved the cat the mother wanted me to blur their faces because she was afraid of retaliation against her own kids so that's the kind of community we're talking about wow rough stuff